Okay, so the first step before we get started with building the floating bed was to deassemble the old frame. We want to make sure the room, our area is nice and clear and clean. Okay, now that the room is clean and clear, we want to start setting up our cutting station. As you guys can see, I did grab a piece of plywood to put my miter saw on. I don't have a miter uh, saw stand, so you really have to go with what works. So this works just as cool. I moved it so I can have better camera angles. Alright, this angle is better. Got my miter saw check. Start setting that up. Now, guys, it was really cold this day, so you're gonna see the cords, they're not um, as flexible as they usually are, they're cold. The cords are very cold, so you're gonna see it really soon. outside very cold but that tie ensures that the um, the miter won't the miter saw won't come out of the um, extension cord it locks it in I have all my lumber outside these are two by six baits built by Watson of course uh, I have my little setup station also, this is the blueprint we'll be going off of. I drew this up myself. Uh, at first, I was going to put two by eight by eights on the bottom, but I'm going to go ahead and use all two by six by sixes. This is my lumber count, 14 pieces. This is the bottom frame, right? And then this is the top frame. So let's get it. Now it's time to start cutting. Don't worry, guys. I'll be sure to put the plans for the um, floating bed in the description. speed square made a straight line now it's time to cut as you can see I was having a little trouble because the board was um it wasn't supported on the other side but if you can hold it then go ahead and hold it but you want to have something that could support it
now we're back inside. Time to build. I started by pre-drilling the edges simply because those pieces are right by the edge and if you don't pre-drill then you will split the wood. You don't want to split the lumber. I then repeated the same steps on the other side. Now we can start putting in our supports. This is gonna, these pieces are what supports the load. And this is just for the bottom frame. So I measured out each one. Make sure you pull from the same side. Get it on the line and fasten it in. Now again, I'll be sure to put the measurements in the description, but I put each support 16 inches apart. So what you see me doing for the first one, I just repeated those steps for all the supports. Now it's time to start with the top frame. So what I decided to do was, as you see what I'm screwing in, I'm screwing in two by sixes to the other two by sixes that rest on the bottom frame. I could have framed the top frame out then, put the top frame on top of the bottom frame, but I just decided to do it this way. This way is a lot more time consuming and you have to make sure both of the sides have the same measurement. It's a bit tedious, but um, yeah, it gets the job done. Again, we have to make sure each side is the same measurement. Also, those two by fours that, I, that I'm screwing in now, those ensure that the bed, the top frame doesn't go anywhere. It locks it into place. 
every so often you want to check the measurements. As you all can see, I did run into a little problem, but it's an easy problem, easy fix. I had to move the pieces over a little bit. They weren't all even, which is a common problem. You know, most people would frame the top out first and then do the bottom frame and then set it on top, but it's, it's kind of easy to do it this way and you learn more when you do it this way, to be honest. Quick fix. So as you all can see, this is the final product. It's finished. So now we have our LED lights on. Two different strips giving us two different colors. Giving it that great bed vibe look, you know. Ooh. Of course, with the LED lights, you know, they're going to send you a remote and you can pretty much play with the colors. You can make the colors jump, you can make the colors flash, whatever you're feeling. Go ahead and knock yourself out. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, I truly, truly do appreciate you. I really worked really, really hard on this. So please interact with me in the comments. I will be responding to everybody. Thank you guys. guys i forgot to mention i did launch my business but that's a different story for a different day i'll be back soon